Hello, Osho Board Room fans. Um, happy to have you here again. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to convert relative bearings to true bearings on radar. So, one way of doing that, guys, is if my relative bearing was 90 degrees, that's my relative bearing. And my heading is 90 degrees, true. This is my heading, yeah? This is my bearing. And this is my heading. Then if I want to find out what my, uh, my, true head, my true bearing is, what you need to do is you need to add. Yeah, you need to add your relative bearing plus your heading. And that's going to give you your true bearing to that object. So that's 180, yeah? So if I can, if I can put a picture, which will make a lot more sense, hopefully. Here's my boat. My true heading is 90 degrees, as you can see here. And the relative bearing of the object is 90 degrees, yeah? So if I draw up a compass, so this is gonna be zero degrees, this is gonna be 90, this is gonna be 180, and this is gonna be 270. Okay. So can you see now why it's 180? So if my, if, if this is the, if the relative bearing, this is the relative bearing is 90 degrees. This is relative bearing. And my heading is 90 degrees. Therefore the true bearing of the object is 180. Does that make sense? So what happens in an instance here where this is what can get a bit confusing for people is when uh, you add everything up and it's greater than 360. So for example, let's say that my, uh, my relative bearing is 270. This is my relative bearing. And my true, he and my true heading is 180. This is my heading. So once we add it all up, I get 450 degrees. Uh-oh. We don't have 450 degrees in a circle now, do we? So what do we have to do here? We have to subtract 360, yeah? And that's gonna give me my, uh, my true bearing. which is going to be 90 degrees, isn't it? You see two pictures. My true bearing is 90 degrees. Sorry, my true bearing is 180, apologies. My, my relative bearing is 270, which is here. You can see here how my true bearing is gonna be 90 degrees. Yeah, so pretty straightforward, okay? So yeah, sometimes when I'm teaching this, some people get a bit confused. But I always say the best thing is if the numbers are not making sense, um, just uh, draw, you know, draw the picture and then you can see how it will make more sense. Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, just a quick short clip about you know, converting relative bearings to true bearings, uh, so a very handy skill to have. Um, our next video is going to be around using plotting sheets for collision avoidance. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about radar, uh, click on the link and you can see that video. For those of you that know me, and you can see my hair is a bit long and you know looking a bit scraggy. It's just that it's locked down here in Sydney. We've been locked down for over two months now and uh, we're all starting to look a little bit edgy. 
but hopefully it will all be over soon. So thank you guys, and I um, hope you enjoy the next one. <music>